Here's some societies that's known for centralizing power through collusion, rituals, and extortion to cowards, and the slight chances from gradual power acquisition. Because power corrupts you to put your people in position versus Jesuits and Masons that actually live among us. Knights nice Templar, Knights of Malta, and the Columbus, Black nobility, Brotherhood of the Snake. There's a council of foreign relations that can't relate. The Russell's Trust is just a front for skull and bones. In 04, the presidential race came down to them alone. That was John Kerry and George Bush. Is that fair? The British Royal Institute of International Affairs, the Order of the Quest, or the Jason Societies, the Order for the Mormons, can't forget the Illuminati, the Rasnaya of Afghanistan, the Kabbalah. The Pope approves the elected head of the Knights of Malta, ancient and mystical order of the Rose Cruces. The Rockefellers could tell you what the Bilderberg Group is. That's the world ballers that meet in The Hague in Switzerland, run by former Nazi Prince Bernard of the Netherlands. They had to have a vision. When all of North America, Europe, and Japan made the Trilateral Commission, we got Rose Cruces, Yale Skull and Key, and all the Von Nine knows the Sigma Pi Phi, and they are AKA the Boule, like William DeBois, Arthur Ashe, and Mel K. These are the new world order groups I verify. Now you determine if you should be more or less petrified. Surely there's other groups seeking control. Some stories run deep and they ain't easily told. It's a full-time job watching our freedoms get sold, even collectively. Ask them folks at Bohemian Grove. I first learned about that through Alex Jones. Now he made himself a fake news bumbling clone. You might have seen him in today's media getting chumped. You was real, but karma biting your ass for supporting Trump. And that's a fact. Definitely just got hit on Friday for that 4.1 milli lawsuit that he got to pay to a family for um, one of the victims of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. You know what I'm saying? And if he wasn't so gung ho MAGA, so gung ho Trump, he wouldn't be categorized as like some far right conspiracy theorist. You know what I'm saying? But that's another story. And my message to Alice Jones, I really got to say because he actually put me on to some game in a lot of interviews. You know what I mean? He showed me the insurance companies that were making a ton of money off of uh, Obama's uh, health insurance plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he put that, he put me onto that. InfoWars was, I, I, it was some stuff that was so radical, I probably didn't look up or ignore it, but some stuff that was really radical, I looked up and was able to prove true. So I know he not always wrong, but now he gone. This is the same dude that did the Zygeist. But it ain't about Alex Jones, you know what I'm saying? Info wars, you know what I'm saying? You fucked up, fuck up with Trump. How you supporting a man that's that's blatantly just out here lying to hundreds of millions of people every day? Like, come on, you wrong for that. And that's what you get. But nevertheless, this is about fasting on day 22, day deuce deuce. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get y'all with that. My followers, especially if you follow my channel, y'all might y'all might know where that verse come from, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's definitely one of the world broadcasts. I'll let y'all figure it out for those who don't know. You know what I'm saying? Get, get them other videos, some views you did while you searching and shit. But nevertheless, um, how do I feel? I feel empty physically. Um, spiritually, though, I feel full. I'm moving in abundance. Like, it really is just like my physical form that's feeling it. I ain't going front, I'm physically feeling it. Like, look at my stomach. I ain't even got flex for ass no more. I finally do got that divide through, through my ass that I've been wanting my whole life to never get. That's there now, but I'm on an empty stomach and I feel it. Uh, you know, when I when, when I go in the crib, I'm probably going to finish the last little bit of master cleanse I got, but I just picked up some black seed oil. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to give a nigga energy between that. And I'm really just going to be on that, sea moss, and uh, and water, sometimes lime water, and uh, chlorophyll, you know, putting chlorophyll droplets in water. So that's where I'm at with with that. Um, I also, am, I'm speaking as somebody, you gotta understand, I wear a lot of hats, you know what I'm saying? I'm building a real news channel with BFN. I'm building a real company with the graduation party. I'm putting out real music that's getting streamed. I'm putting out a real, I'm launching a real app that is going to be a gig economy app for tutors and educators in the STEM field. Like, I'm doing real heavy shit and at the helm of all of it. So, I don't get a lot of sleep. Definitely not as much sleep as I should, but, you know, uh, sleep is the cousin of death. 
God put me here to manifest, you know what I'm saying? Now, even God rested on the seventh day, so they say. But, man, you know, I've been to prison before. I, I, I got an, I, I've got enough rest, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it's, 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 I'm active right now, and it's a lot of shit that's unfolding. And plus, I need to get to the Fetty, too, man. It's, it's, it's justice that needs to be handled. It's money that needs to be funneled uh, into my people, the hip-hop community, black community. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All of that. My family, more specifically. Me, more specifically, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got to take care of myself before I can take care of others. And the more I can take care of myself without being dependent on the matrix, you know what I'm saying? The more you know, godly I am. At least that's how I feel. That's what this fashion showed me. I can walk through all of these stores. I don't got to buy shit. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm in front of all of this food. I don't gotta ask for no food. I don't gotta, I don't gotta uh, do none of that. I mean, I'm I'm being disciplined, so you know I've been tempted, but I'm fasting. So and I'm fasting for a reason. I'm fasting to heal certain things in my body. Some things have been healed. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple things here and there, and I'll get into that later. You know, towards the end and all of that. Maybe maybe I'll build with y'all enough to where I might share some details on that. But right now. Um, just know that some things have changed very noticeably and, uh, you know, I'm just going to still be active cause it's uh day 22. It's not day 40. You know what I mean? It's a lot, a lot has happened in my first 18 days of fast. So how I'm expect not a lot to happen to these last 18 days. You know what I'm saying? But even still, this has been a blessing. This is brought about blessings that I can't even describe to y'all. Well, I can, but I think they deserve, like, later posts, you know, like, man. But God, I feel like, has been really talking to me through other people and sending me messages, even money. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's, and it's like, blatant. You know what I'm saying? That's some powerful shit. It might spook some of y'all out, have y'all think I'm tweaking, but you know what I'm saying, Bishop Grady, I'm, I'm, I'm God's, God's son, like, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I am God. I'm one with God. You are too, you know what I'm saying? But you got to tap into that. I'm tapped in, you feel me? But nevertheless, though, um, you know, I'm only moving off a couple hours of sleep, you know, put in a lot of working hours, you know, and uh, doing some fundraising, and it's working, man. So I just got, I know I just got to keep trucking. And that's what these messages through other people in these situations have showed me. God... Is, is is giving me the pat on the back. And it ain't congratulatory. It's the push a nigga like, go, go, keep going. You doing it. Go, nigga. So that's the time I'm on. Get y'all them bars. Get y'all a little update. Yo, it feels good to count down instead of counting up. You know what I mean? We passed the halfway mark. Right now, at 22 days, I'm 55% through the fast. Still a whole nother 45 left, but we're gonna get to it. Green War on graduation.